Coach Kim here, seasoned personal trainer, ready to give you a 15 minute balance workout. I promise you, the more you do this, the easier and better and more confident you will become. All right, we're gonna start with a standing on the one leg drill. So I've got a nice sturdy object next to me. If you have a wall or a chair, that'd be great. Take your leg, I'm starting with my left leg. My standing knee is nice and soft. I'm gonna take my eyes and fixate on something. So find a spot either a window or a doorknob, something, and just stare at that. Then what I'd like you to do is lift up your other leg and just slightly off the ground by a couple inches. Go ahead and let go of that, that chair or the wall. And for 10 seconds, right now in three, two, one, you've got this. For 10 seconds, we're just standing on one leg. The standing knee is soft. Your eyes are fixated on something. It helps tremendously. And hold right here. And that's three, two, one. One, good, 10 seconds. And if, you know, after five seconds, your foot fell down, just get right back up. Balance is just like anything else. The more you work on it, it's gonna get better and better. So let's go ahead to the other leg. Lift the other foot slightly off the ground. Hold on to your object and now let go. Eyes fixate and you've got 10 seconds. Standing knee is soft. Excellent, keep going. You can do this. And what I'd like you to do is every time this gets a little easier is add another five or 10 seconds until you work up to a whole minute and bring it back down, good. So again, well, I'm gonna do a second set just so we can practice this. Go ahead and go back to your original leg. Use your hands for counterbalance if you have to. If some of you have to hold on a little bit, that's fine. Eyes fixate. This time we're moving up. Oh, we're gonna do 15 seconds. When you brush your teeth in the morning, do this right here. When you brush your teeth at night, get on the other leg and practice this every single day. And then switch, go the other side. So standing knee is soft. Eyes are fixated on something. Hold, we're doing a whole 15 seconds. Again, you could just count in your head if you need to. If you have a time clock, that's fine too. Hold it right here. It's gonna get easier and easier, I promise, but you have to practice this. And hold, and good, bring it back down. So, next drill. So that was the standing on one leg. So I'd like you to put one foot in front of the other. Now let me show you. Some of you have to hold on initially, that's fine. The hardest way is heel to toe. A little bit easier would be to separate, get a little space in between, and even easier is when you have your legs more split apart. So I want you to find what, what can you do that you're not gonna flounder and fall, but you're gonna be challenged. So go ahead and put one foot in front of the other, okay? Again, if you have to open it up a little bit, that's fine. Let go and see where you are on this, okay? Can you stand right here? Good, hold, one foot in front of the other. Again, if you're floundering, open it up. If you're still floundering, make it wider. So hold it right here for 10 seconds. You've got this. Keep in mind, eyes are fixated. It really does help. 10 seconds. You've got this, one foot in front of the other. Hold, hold, good. Let's go ahead and switch sides. So one foot. Now I'm doing mine directly heel to toe. Again, we're all at different levels of your balance. So if you need to open that up, open it up. If you're still kind of all over the place, separate your feet. So you guys, I'm not judging. There's no right or wrong with any of this. It's a matter of just practicing it and wanting to get better at it. So one foot in front of the other. Go ahead and let your eyes fixate on something. Hold the hands open for balance. And let's hold this for 10 seconds. Good. Breathing in your nose. Out your mouth. Breathing in your nose. Out your mouth. Good, now we're gonna go back to that other drill, but I'm gonna add a little more movement, okay? Anytime you add moving parts, whether it be your arms or we're moving our feet up, which I'm getting ready to do, it makes things a little bit harder. So go back to that same stance you had before. I'd like you to go up on the toes and hold, 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 right here. Eyes are fixated. You've got your object next to you if you need it. 10 seconds, hold it right here. And perfect, good, let's go ahead and go back. Put your other foot right up here and go up on those toes. Up, up, up. Hold it, eyes are fixated. Good. And again, I want you to think about it. every time you brush your teeth, standing on one foot, it will get better. You'll be very pleased. Excellent, and come back down, good. So what I'd like you to do with this one, put your feet super close together, as close as they'll go. Now, if you find yourself, your balance is off, again, you have your object here or you can separate your feet a little bit, but let's have your feet. Go up on the toes, and then I want you to rock back. Again, if you have to hold on, that's fine. Go up on the toes, and rock back, good. Go up on the toes, hold, 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 and rock back. Let's do one more. Up on the toes, up on the toes, how's your balance? This is good for your ankles too. 
bring it back and perfect. Let's work on that several times a day. It will get better and better every day. All right, I'm gonna start with my right leg and my right arm, which means you'll be starting with your left. So just mirror my moves if you don't mind. Take one, lay your leg out to the side, my arm is up and repeat. So repeat, good. You're stepping out to the side. Now, balance is just like anything else. The more we work on it, the easier it's gonna get, the better it's gonna get, and the more confident you'll feel. All right, let's get a couple more. Out, back. And when you have moving parts, it always makes things a little bit harder. So let's go back to the other side. Good, reach up and over the head, and just step out as comfortable, just somewhere comfortable. It's not too challenging, but it's very doable. Good, let's get three more. Waking up those shoulders and hips. You got another one and good now i'm starting again with my right leg your left leg so let's take your toe and tap it out to the ball of the foot and then go to the side and behind my standing knee is soft so bring the moving leg out front and to the side and behind front do what's comfortable with your hands i like them on my hips some people like them out in front whatever you're comfortable with into the side i can make this more complicated by adding uh, some moving parts and we'll get we'll get to that for right now we're at a beginner level and bring it back let's get one more ready front side behind and back let's get the other side almost feel like we're doing a little dance and then bring it back so put a good nice little little beat going on in your head here and bring it back behind so front side back front side Back. You know exercise is the most transformative thing you can do for your brain. So it will get easier. Lots of stuff going on and I promise you it's all good. Let's get one more for fun. Front, side, back, and together. Good. Standing on one leg only doesn't matter which leg. What I'd like you to do is swing. Now if you need to hold onto a chair or wall to the side, that's fine. This is a pendulum. I'm standing on one leg. So this is a little bit more intermediate. So if you need to hold on, my beginners, that's fine. Hold on to a chair or wall. The standing knee is soft. Good. This is good for the hip. It's great for balance. Let's get three more. That's one and two and three. Let's go ahead and switch sides. Again, if you have a chair or wall, beginners, hold on. More advanced and intermediate. You can let go. We're going to back and forth. Now, if you want to swing your arms, that's even harder. Again, anytime you have moving parts, let your eyes fixate on something. My standing knee is soft. It's pretty challenging, isn't it? Oh, some of you might be all over the place or hanging on to something. I expect that, especially when you first start off. Let's get, that's three and two and one. Very nice, good. So one foot in front of the other. Okay, I have my right foot in front. If you need to open it up a little bit, if you're floundering too much, I want you to open it up. The easiest way would be even more of a split. So again, the hardest way is exactly heel to toe. Open it up for easier. Easiest is out to the side. So pick what works for you because what we're going to do is some moving parts here. I happen to be heel to toe with my right foot in front and then I'm going to step exactly behind. So I'm going heel to toe. So I'm stepping in front. You can look at your feet if you need to and then step behind. There you go. Keep going. Step in front step behind so this is advanced if you need to make it a little easier just open it up and bring it directly behind the other leg so right in front and then bring it back behind let's get one more bring it in front heel to toe so i want you to feel challenged with this and then switch sides so what do i mean by that well you're not having to hang too much on that chair but you know it's there but you feel like, hey, I'm, I'm, I'm working. I'm having to think about this. So one foot in front. Let's use the other leg now, the other foot. And then bring it directly behind. Good. One foot in front. You can look at your feet. It's okay. And bring it behind. Have you ever heard of the drunk test? That's a nice drill to do. Do the heel to toe and walk across the room and then walk backwards back. See how that goes for you. It does help to put the hands out. Okay. And again, you can open that stance. Let's try the drunk step where you, where you just walk one foot in front of the other across the room. Let's get one more for fun here. Up and then bring it back. Good. Let's see how you do. Put your feet close together. And I want you to go up on the toes. Hold, 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 hold. And then come back down. Good. 
Now lift the arms out to the side, hold right here, back down, rest. If you have a chair, the higher up the chair is, the harder. If you have a step stool, that's probably even a little bit easier for this particular exercise. So we're just moving one foot. Notice how it's forcing me to be on one foot only while I do this. So if some of you need to hold on to a wall, that's fine. If the chair is too high, you can always just simulate, pretend you're stepping on something right here or use a step stool underneath the chair. So let's go ahead and get a few more. Here we go. Woohoo! Three and two. You'll notice I like to make funny noises. It's kind of fun. And woohoo is a fun noise. Let's get one more and rest. Good. So with this next balance exercise, what I'd like you to do is stand up tall. Let your neck relax, hands relax. You're going to take one leg out to the side and then come back. My standing knee is soft. I'm using my right leg. You're going to mirror me with your left. Hands on the hips is fine. Out and back. Good. Out to the side and back. So this is an outer leg lift. My standing knee is soft. Some people need to hold on to the chair or the wall next to you. That's fine too. You can work up to where you don't have to hold on. Now this is a great one. Working that sides as well and your balance. So you're getting a bonus of more than just balance. So out to the side. And these are exercises you can do anytime, anywhere. All you need is your body and that motivation to do it. And if you need me for your motivation, I'm right here for you. Let's go ahead and get a couple more. Out back one more out to the side and back good let's go again to the side other leg standing knee is soft now make sure what i don't want you to do is lean your body so your body is nice and straight and upright have your eyes fixed on something standing knee is soft if you have to cheat and hold on just a little bit that's fine but ultimately the goal would not be able to hold on to something out back let's get about three more out back you feeling it in the sides a little bit that's a good thing and back. Now this next exercise. The higher the chair, the easier for this particular one. If you have a stool, that's fine. Just remember the lower the harder. And these are just teaching tools. I'd like you to stand. I'm standing on my right leg with my knee soft. I have my hands in front of me. I'm doing a hinge, one of the foundational movements with exercise. I'm going to stick my butt back, lift my left leg back. I'm going to tap on the chair. Notice how my back is flat. And I'm going to stand up tall. Repeat with the same leg. Back is flat, soft knee, and stand nice and tall. I want you to notice how my back is flat. I'm leaning. Good. Perfect. Keep going. Now, this is definitely more intermediate, even advanced to some folks up, and it will get easier the more you do it. So if you're all over the place for your first time doing this, that's very normal and natural. Just like anything else, it will get better. Down, up. Let's go ahead and switch legs. So standing knee is soft. Keep your tummy tight, down and up. And notice how both my hands are touching the chair at the same time, standing soft. And I also want you to notice how as I begin to hinge, that's when my leg goes back. So a common mistake I see with people is they start to come down, then lift the leg. Mm -mm. I want you to go ahead, put your hand down, about back, up. So remember, as you start to hinge, that's when you lift the leg out and back. Good. How's that feel? Now you're going to feel a little bit in the back of the legs and the hamstrings. That's completely normal. This is, like I said, a little bit more intermediate to advanced level. So if some of you guys have to hold on to something while you do this, that's fine. Or maybe you're just barely going down or even just doing it with two legs would make it a little bit easier, a lot easier. So let's go back to that original leg. So sit up upright. I don't want any slouching. Shoulders back. You're going to hinge at the hip, tap on the chair, come back up. Reminder, is the leg going back as I hinge? So the hinge part is where I'm sticking my butt back. Good. Let's get one more. One more. You're doing a fine job. Down and up. Let's switch sides. So hinging at the hip, back flat. What I don't want to see, and I'm going to give you another one, is I don't want to see this. That's a rounding of the back, and that's when you wake up with a bad back. So stick the butt back, hinge, up. Let's get one more. Hinge, and then stand nice and tall. Good. I know you're feeling that. Whew, good stuff right there. So what I'd like you to do right now is put one foot up. Notice how I'm at a 90 degree. If this is too challenging for you, drop it down low. So the higher up, the harder. Put your hands either out or on the hips. Think a happy thought. 
and switch sides. We're almost done, hang in there. We're on the other leg right now. And hold, and here we go. That's three, two, one. Thank you for joining me. Now remember to always stand on one foot, whether you're standing in a line or you're brushing your teeth, it will get better and improve that balance each and every time you work on it. So thank you for joining me today and remember to always check with your doctor before starting an exercise program.